Greetings everyone, Xanrath here, welcome back to more Hearthstone, another week, another Tavern Brawl, and this week, Encounter at the Crossroads again. Encounter at the Crossroads, pick a class, let's see what's in your deck this time. And, uh, we haven't seen this in a while, I don't think, um, 20-something-ish weeks, approximately, maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and, let's go with Shaman, because I think Shaman's gonna be pretty good. Uh, I mean, they got a lot of really good cards, and it's also a class that I don't play very much, so we get to double dip. You know, be a little OP, potentially, um, and play a class that, uh, well, I don't play very often. Like I said, I'm trying to do that um, more in these tavern brawls, kind of diversify a little bit, uh, you know. And uh, one thing I was thinking about when I saw this was the uh, the brawl this week. Um, I was trying to remember, oh look, this guy has the same idea. Um, I was trying to remember whether or not, um, hmm, let's see, let's think about what I'm mulligan for. Let's keep... Uh, no, nah, let's throw that back. I was going to say, let's keep it for removal, just in case, but, eh, this might as well. Oh. Okay, sick. Man, you got the mad scientist. Wait, so this is wild? So Tavern, tavern Brawl is going to remain, uh, wild, it looks like. Um. That's incredible. That is incredible. Wow. Incredible. Um, but yeah, I was thinking whether... Uh, I was going to juggle, or flame juggler into hit my thing, right? Oh, that's kind of weird. All right, well, there's that. Uh, sure. But uh, yeah, what I was saying, uh, I was trying to remember like when we have these new card pack based expansions. Um, I'm, I was wondering whether or not uh, like encounter at the crosswords or one of these kind of variants where it's like, oh, random cards in your deck. Uh, will always be the brawl that week, just because, you know, it's a chance for people who, you know, aren't professional, uh, Hearthstone players, esporters, um, to try, you know, who, who, who buy, like, hundreds of packs, and they basically have all the cards, uh, of the expansion, um, from the get-go, um, you know, it gives people like us, uh, you know, a chance to play with some of these cards that we otherwise didn't get in the, uh, in the packs. Um, turn here, I don't know, I don't really want to throw out the Master of Ceremonies, because that just trades for his 2, 3, but, um, like, I don't have anything else for that. I might as well tell it, I'm sure, why not? Okay, that's not super helpful, but, um, I guess it could have been, could have been worse? Actually, no. So, but our total actually would have been pretty sick. But then he might have traded for it. But he's gonna take the free. Like, would he would he trade for the uh, spell power totem, or would he take the free trade? Eh. Questionable. All right. So I think I talked about this card when I picked it up uh, in the pack. And it's like basically it's like a send gen, except uh, well you have to have your opponent has to have two minions. Otherwise, it's not really a send gen. So uh, in this case, we're gonna get a little bit of value, right? Because it's gonna get three health, so it's better than a send gen. It's a uh, twilight. Uh, Dragomabobber. No, Twilight Guardian? That's what it's called, right? Yep, so we'll do that. Uh, it's even protecting the, the heal totem, so unless he has some good removal, which, you know, he probably does because he's pretty good at this game. Um, mine doesn't look like it. That's too bad, it looks like. Um, just gonna trade in. Are you gonna commit to it? Nope. Alright, cool. Well, that's a thing. Uh,. I mean, what are the odds he has Hex? It's random, but, you know, how good is he at Hearthstone is the question, right? You know, if he had the Legend card back, he was like, oh yeah, he's probably pretty skilled. He probably has Hex in his deck. Um, you know what? We're here. We might as well YOLO, right? What does that do for my next play, though? Uh, I didn't think about that. So that was uh, pretty poor, but I was just like, eh, whatever. Oh, he's got Halazeal. That's cool. Um, I guess I'll get rid of that. Probably can just heal this guy. Nope, he's gonna pass. Uh, alright. Well. How do I want to approach this? If I hit here, he basically has 5 health. And he has, uh... He has... 4, 6... Yeah, so... Technically, he would still be alive, and he really hasn't shown that he has any, um, answers to this. So let's go ahead and do this. 
Right. This leaves them both alive, technically, on board, at least. Could have played the uh, Healing Wave just to have a little extra insurance, but don't really care. So right now, uh, board status-wise, he has, we'll call it like, like he has two plus the little dude, so like we'll call it two and a half. He has five cards, so seven and a half. I have... Oh, man. That's pretty good. Um, Alright. I guess I'll go ahead and just do that. Ugh. Kind of hoping for something better. Let's see. Let's get rid of that spell power, I suppose. Um. Sure. How do I want to do this? I could swap and then smack into that. How much health does he have? Eight originally. So I swap, puts him at seven, and he has less attack. Kind of saves him. Sure, let's do that. Right. So if I do that, 5-7 goes to 5-2, goes to 3. Uh, no, I'm still going to need to... Hmm. Uh, sure, let's just... We'll make that trade. And, sure, let's go ahead and just heal him up for funsies. Right. Could I use this? Instead, the healing wave, but... Meh. Alright, so he needs to draw, like, what? Elemental destruction. Pretty easy clear. It's 4 or 5. He has a spell damage, or 5 or 6. So, easy clear. He's got a dragon in hand. Alright, that's nice. It's good to know, good to know. Um, I guess we'll... Bop in that guy. Start training a bit. Again, kind of with a futile attack. Um, oh. That's... Nice, let's do that again. Sure. Um, so we'll bop into that. Uh, let's... I don't really care. I'll leave him up with some spell power. Alright, so now I get... This counts as a minion, right? I mean, yeah. Should. There's no reason not to. So now I get to use get some uh, Master of Ceremonies uh, value there. Oh, the Alec here. Alright, so it's going to clear out my dude. And then probably clear out that dude. And then I'll just bop these two guys into that. Um, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and just, we'll probably play that regardless. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and try to, uh, control the board a little bit more. So I have basically five cards, he has six cards, got more board though, so that's nice. He went first. Oh, man. Nas. That's not cool. Alright. Where are my plays? I guess, sure. Cthune? Why not? Uh, you know what? I guess we'll just trade all of this in. Panic a little bit. Um, so he's gotten two legendaries. He's got Nas Dormu. He got Halazil. Oh, no, he's got three. He had three, right? He had Alakir as well. Oh, man. But we're still technically on, like, ahead, but not by much. Not by much. Um, okay now. Every fin is awesome. Uh, let's see. I have all, all my totems up, so I, actually, I can't totem, right? It's not green. Um, I don't think I've ever had... A situation like this. So let's go ahead and do that. Could have gotten one extra dude out, but I kind of want to save that. Ah, it's probably a bad. Ah, I should have. I probably should have just uh, used that, huh? Uh, let's go ahead and trade like that. Okay. Uh, we'll do this. And that still leaves me with all my totems up. So that was still kind of maybe a little bit not or not the best. But, eh, doesn't really matter. So I guess he'll bop into that. I'll totem up and get another taunt totem and then trade the searing totem in. Or do I want a searing totem? Um. Okay. 
So he's starting to get a little bit of a swing now. Okay. Here's your statue. I do have the Wailing Soul combo. Guess we'll get ourselves a Taunt Totem. Trade into that. Uh, we'll do this. Take the free trade there. Throw that in. Let's go ahead and just toss the Eerie Statue out. Um, don't think... I mean, I'm not going to Wailing Souls unless he can somehow clear my board. Uh, I definitely don't want to lose these buffs on these guys, on these totems, these tots. And, of course, uh, Cthulhu's Chosen. So, he's got a healing totem. That's not a huge deal for me. I guess I'll probably... He's got another one? Oh, my God. He's got four legendaries this game. It's crazy. Uh, if he hits that... Nope, he's going to use this to trade there. So, that's not a super good trade for me. Okay. So, I guess I'll... Oh, I got a Murloc. Uh, I guess I'll bop and bop. Yeah, let's bop and bop. Sure. We can get the thing out. And clear that guy. So we'll go ahead and do this. Don't really care to give him about giving him the armor. Um, Do I want to heal that, maybe? Let's do that, actually. Let's see what's in his deck, too. It's got... Five legendaries, and I have a freaking blood. Co uh, blood silk here, man. All right, this is pretty okay. So he's had two Halazils or whatever they're called. Alakir, he had uh, what's the other one? What was the other one that he had? Uh, but 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 Alakir, it wasn't that great. Oh, and he had Thalonos too. I totally forgot about that one. So he's had. I don't even know. I'm too tired to keep track. Like. <laughs> I don't know. Someone keep count for me. Cause I'm, like I said, I'm just too. Uh, do I have lethals in any way? Uh, no. So we'll do that. Got taunt. Uh, bop there. Sure. I don't even remember. What was the other legendary that we just saw from the reveal? The Joust? It was, like, the... It was the Hogger one, right? Terror of El... Whatever. Elwyn Forest? Something like that. Um, he needs a Taunt Totem here, and he should get it, right? Because he... I mean, based on his deck, he had, like, what, five, six legendaries? He's pretty good at this game, so... Um, definitely knows how to get Taunt Totems. Uh, so he should just trade. And actually, no. Can he... I don't have lethal on board, right? Or there's no way I have lethal. Um, he's got Earth Shock, and then he's gonna trade into that. That's pretty good. So I guess my play has to be Lava Shock that, and then trade into that because I don't. Ooh, wait, is that? No, that's not enough. Uh, right. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Maybe I should just. Like bloodlust. Uh, just to make that trade, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't great, but this gives me, like, because I don't have to give up my entire board. So maybe I shouldn't have totem played that and just bloodlust that way. Maybe that would that probably would have been better, actually, right? So, eh. All right, and he's got the everything now. So all that stuff is awesome. Ah, uh, not getting very lucky. Oh, that was uh, pretty fortunate, I suppose. All right. I really hope I win this one. I mean, not the best plays, but uh, I mean, he just had. I don't think I've had a. I don't think I did. I draw any legend. Oh, oh man. That's lethal, though. Uh, no, it's not. Because he can clear out one of the dudes. With his, uh, thingy. With his healing totem. Just gonna do that. Gonna take out the toad. Nope. That makes sense, because he doesn't wanna... Oh, man. Okay. Well... Uh, 
how do I, do I just go? Like, if I do this, if I just go, puts about two, he will get a taunt on him next turn, whereas, if I do a little bit of clearing, oh man, I'm not sure, I don't know what's in this deck, so I, I guess I'll go for some clears. Probably the wrong play, but can I get that one? Nice, okay. Somewhat fortunate. Okay, so. <sighs> Not gonna get a taunt to it, or he probably will. He's pretty He's pretty good at this game. Uh, Probably taunt to him into his other legendary. That was six mana, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, Let's see, what do I... What can I... I mean, like... So he should probably take a free trade. Of course, why not? That makes the most sense, right? Um, well, at least I have a legendary. At least I have a legendary. Uh, we'll do that. So both he can kill. He can definitely kill both. Um, this is really bad. He can kill both by just attacking these guys in my face, and then you can take that free trade. It goes up to two. I am really in a bad spot right now. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know, what can I... And he has a lightning bolt, why not? Why not? Is there anything I can even do? Like, uh, anything I can draw? Deathwing, I suppose, is a thing. Not the new one, the old one, right? So, yeah. It's, um, I guess we'll just, we'll see. I mean, that's his, um, third Halazeal, I know that. Thalanos, Alakir. Miss Caller. He has the uh, the other one that's still in his deck potentially. Um, what is uh, the other thing? Um, he had one other legendary. I'm pretty sure. How many legends there is that? I, like I said, I'm too tired to even try to remember all that stuff. Um, I don't know what can save me. Elemental destruction is a thing. <sighs> Lightning storm kind of is a thing, but not really. I could technically... No, I can't, I think, right? Even if those two things died. Oh, uh, no, those two things died, I would have been able to survive. All right. Well, I mean, this guy's just way too good at this game, right? There you go. There's the other one. And how many more? Three other cards? Yep. So, you know, I usually don't... Uh, I usually don't leave in... Um games that I lose. A couple of times, I, I think one other time, I did, but I mean, <laughs> uh, this is, this is, this is one of those games where it's like, there is such a difference in, like, ability and skill. I mean, we both play the same class, but he was just so much better at this game. He had, I mean, he had, let's try to count. All right. Three Halazils, a Thalanos, the thing at the end, the hogger. Um, Alakir, Mistcaller. So he had seven. I'm th I think he had one more. So he had eight legendaries to my one. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not good at this game. Uh, or not that good at this game. So that's why I didn't get many legendaries. That guy, I mean, clearly, he was pretty good at this game. Um, so that was, I mean... For, for uh, you know, the difference in skill cap, or not skill cap, but, like, ability, uh, I was really surprised I lasted that long. Um, so let's go ahead and jump back in and try, try it one more time. We want to win, right? So I think I'll leave that in the video just because, you know, it's pretty amusing, to be quite honest, right? That was, uh, yeah. If I would have won, that would have been, like, the craziest upset. It's like, you know, the underdog... You know, that's like, that's like rank 25 chicken beating, you know, 
someone in Legend. That would have been that. No, that was like that was like uh when Amaz right <laughs> played against someone in like the low ranks, like the where you couldn't even uh, lose ranks, and he lost. He had like a um I don't remember exactly what deck he played, but he had like a standard deck, and he lost to like a basic mage or something like that, right? This guy has a legendary card back, so we know that he probably is running, like... I guess in that case, he's running, like... I don't know. Maybe, like... Because that guy didn't... The other guy didn't have uh, the legend card back. He could have just been, like, you know, not using it, to be fair. So this guy, reasonably, 10 legendaries, I think. Um, just based on uh, his card back alone, I think. Right. All right. So I guess we'll go with that. Oh, Flame Tongue. I guess I am pretty good at this game. That was a pretty good one, right? Um, I don't know. Could I've could I've gotten or could I've been any better? I guess I could have gone with like a. I don't know. Let's see. I guess we'll totem up. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and trade. I'm gonna throw this guy out. That puts me at 4 mana next turn, and that's fine, I think. And I guess I'll go with this, and that puts me at 5 in the next turn on 6. And uh, then I'll be at 7, so eh. I think it's okay. So... I guess he'll take the free. You should take the free uh, trade there, it's not bad. He's got the healing ton on Kind of moot, but that's alright. Oh, hey, look doing better already. Uh, let's go with the fire guard, I think. It's good. Uh, I think you can get f f six total, right? So, I'm getting better. I'm getting better at this game. So I take that thing out. It's cool. That's fine. Oh, I totally... Eh, yeah, that was quite quite the mistake, right? Uh, ooh, Magma Ranger. I'm, that's really sick. Oh! Actually, totally did not realize I have... I forgot I had the dragon thing. The synergy there. Let's go ahead and just bop him in the face. I think that's right. You know, if I had less than 8 attack... If I had, like, I don't know, 4... 3, 4 attack... Probably would have traded for the totem. Might as well. But 8 attack... Or 8, eight on eight, 8 on face is pretty good, right? And I just realized this actually sets up lethal on board unless you can do something. So... 6 mana. I mean, double hex, right? It's pretty good. Master of Evolution. All right. Well, do you have something for two mana? Maybe a taunt, taunt, taunt totem would be pretty good. Um, he should he should just taunt totem. Unless he has a good two drop. I don't know if I mean I guess he didn't have anything else in his hand to like because that kind of seemed like I don't know what I guess he was kind of trying to go for a Noichon. Uh, but he made a mistake and just went for the Mech Warper instead. So, I guess what other taunts would there be? Um, Frost, Wolf, Grunt. Um, I don't know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> well, that was a quick follow-up, right? I guess that kind of made up for the first game. I mean, that was just, <laughs> that was pretty bonkers. That was pretty bonkers. Um, and we saw all but nine cards, I think. In both of our decks. Uh, he had three cards left. I think I had six cards left. So even if you were to like. Oh you just had all legendaries. But they're just in the bottom of your deck. Still would have been at seven. And I think he had at least seven. And I think there was an eighth one right. There was one that I was like, blanking on. But maybe he didn't have it. I don't know. Anyways. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. Well, actually I'm trying to think. How many new cards did we really kind of see? Um, quite a few on his end, right? A couple of the legendaries, quite a few of the legendaries, um, were new. Um, I don't know. Overall, I don't think we saw that many new cards. Uh, well, we learned one that Brawl is still going to be, uh, wild format, which I guess kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess if everything is strictly random, um, there is a lot, a lot larger of a card pool that prior to this expansion than this expansion, right? So it would make sense that we didn't see that many, but I kind of, you know, I kind of figure that these, like like I was talking about in the beginning, these uh, brawls following these card pack expansions 
um, is like an opportunity for people who, you know, don't have the cards otherwise to maybe see some new things before before they maybe want to craft them themselves or like whatever. And so it, I think it might be nice to kind of skew it a little bit and be like, oh, you know what? Like, yeah, there's like 70 new cards and there's like 600. I don't even know. Uh, like, let's say there's like 20%, like 20, like the new card pool is like 15%, 20 seems a little generous, 15% new cards, uh, but let's skew it so it's like 50% of the cards in your random deck is going to be new, um, from this new expansion. Anyways, uh, that's, that's enough of, uh, that's enough of this brawl. I'm a little brawled out. I was brawled out after the first one. Being tired and, uh, facing a, an opponent that just like, much better than you is a little bit, um, it's draining. It's draining. So, uh, that's it for this week, and, uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.